Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this fuel transfer pump from Terra Pumps. This is designed to be used with 55 gallon drums or with IBC totes to transfer a variety of different liquids either into your farm equipment, any sort of vehicles you might have, or just to other containers. Let's check it out. With this particular pump, we have options. This is the battery powered one, so on the very back, I can remove the battery. This is rechargeable and will allow us to operate this cord free. So you can get a version of this that plugs into the wall rather than is battery powered and that will give you faster flow. And then with those options that plug into the wall, you're gonna have ones with and without a flow meter. The flow meter is just gonna be in line with the output hose and tell you how much you're outputting and how fast. One thing to note with the flow meter though, is that it doesn't come as an option for the battery powered version. It only comes as an option with the one that plugs into the wall. There are certain liquids that this is intended to be used with and luckily we've got a label right on the pump itself to remind us, things like motor oil, hydraulic oil, diesel, DEF. And you do wanna be sure to abide by this just because they do make a variety of different pumps that will fit drums like this that are meant for different liquids. For example, this one is not meant for gasoline. They make ones that are. The internal seals on the pump itself are designed to be used with those liquids listed and anything that it isn't listed with could be corrosive to it over time and cause damage to the pump. So you do wanna abide by that and get the right pump for the job. So let's get around to using this. Whenever it's not in use, the nozzle will store just on the pump itself, which is great. Keeps it out of the way and keeps things clean. So it's ready to go for whenever you do need to use it. And the top part of the pump does swivel 360 degrees. So as I take it and I bring it over to our bucket to show it in use, that will swivel and nothing's getting tangled. I do need to go over to the pump and just flip it to the on position. We'll hear it start to work. And then I can use the trigger on the nozzle to actually control the flow. I can squeeze it a little bit to only have a little bit come out or I can go full blast. And again, on this battery powered version, be getting up to 4.2 gallons per minute. The plug-in version will go up to 7.1 gallons per minute. So it is a lot faster. You just have to have a place to plug it into the wall or an extension cord. And after running the pump for a little bit, our five gallon bucket is nearly full. So that 4.2 gallons per minute rating, I think is pretty accurate because that filled up very quick. Taking the unit apart, you can remove that output hose I will tell you to just be cautious though, because some liquid does stay trapped in there once you get the pump turned off. So luckily for us, we only have water in there today, but actually using this with other liquids, you just wanna be aware of that. So I'm just gonna carefully drain it out into the bucket so we can see how much is actually left in there after using it. And overall, it's not too bad. Maybe more than I would necessarily want, but not the full tubes worth. So it does do a good job at getting all that liquid out. Just be aware that there will be some in there. The main part of the pump will just thread directly onto the drum. And it does come included with an adapter. Right now we're using it without, but we can just slide the adapter over it and thread it to itself if we want to take those finer threads and use it on a more coarsely threaded opening. So our drum has both. The adapter would just slide in like that, thread on, and we'd be able to thread the pump into the adapter. Now the intake is telescoping because this is able to work with a variety of different sizes. We've got it set up for our 55 gallon drum but it can be loosened up and expanded to be used with the larger IBC tote. Just get that loosened up all the way. And you can see, just compared to what it was before, how much taller it can get. The very bottom at the intake, it does have a stainless steel mesh filter to prevent debris from getting up into the pump itself. And although the intake is quite large, it fits through no problem. Overall, I think these Terra pumps are designed really well. I like that they thread directly onto the drums. The battery operation is really great. 
For this particular one though, I do think that the plug-in version has an advantage because it can pump a lot faster. A lot of the other versions of this that we've worked with today, there isn't a difference in speed between the battery powered and the non-battery powered. So in those cases, I always opted for the battery option just because I'm not tethered to a wall outlet or an extension cord. But if you do want the extra speed, having this plugged in would be a really big benefit. Plus, you don't have to worry about recharging any batteries. What it really comes down to though is just getting the right Terra pump for the job. Like we mentioned before, this is rated for certain liquids, so if you need something else, check out the other options that Terra Pump has. There's plenty of them that will thread into the 55 gallon drums like you see here. So be sure to check those out on our site. But for now, that'll do it for our look at this Terra Pump fuel pump. Thanks for watching.